Hey, Bergen. Go, Bergen. Go, go. Woo! Make Give me a drink of warning. Yeah. You having fun? <laughs> Woo, good. Do you like it up under there? <laughs> you taking a shower? Is Bubby taking a shower? Oh, Bubby, we've been playing in the rain. Look at all that hair you got. So, we're gonna do a garden video, and here's all our planters right there. That's the fire pit, and that's the big garden out there, and then some uh, two plants over there. I'll show you and then here's our water hose which we need to get a new one but um that's my little water and pail that I use and if you look at the porch we have two baskets of flowers and have some um, cacti that's also kind of like a cactus succulent that is not sure exactly what they are but I watered them like once a week and then that's a centronella uh, plant that um, it's like the candle that keeps mosquitoes away. Um, it's doing all right, <laughs> and the flowers are still still good. Um, they go in and out, but they have I don't know what more I could do because they don't need direct sunlight. And that is our porch. We're playing in the rain, and the kids have made a mess. But we're gonna start with these peppers right here. And these are jalapenos. Mm -hmm. So we moved here in April, and um, and my husband built that planter box. Did a very nice job. And uh, we pl we started planting right after we moved in. So they've been growing for a good. Mm, what they is go. it? Oh, thank you. <laughs> May, June, July. So a good, a good three months, I would say. And. They're producing a lot of peppers. I mean, they have a lot. And over here, these are tomatoes. This one just started getting a little droopy. It needs more soil. No tomatoes on it yet. Um, and I'm not even sure what kind of tomatoes those are, to be honest. These right here are peppers. Um, they are coming in some of them have spots on them um we're trying to this is our first garden that we've been doing so we're trying to manage how much fertilizer and things like that so you know we don't know everything it's mine give me my water oh thank you it's, hey bub and then we have a windmill in here and bubby likes to this play with that and then these are okay a bell pepper, but they're the chocolate beauties. Go do what Daddy says. Okay, Daddy. Daddy. There's your towel. Right here. Mhm. Mm okay. Well, that one has the the rack around it to help keep it standing up. These have two posts, and we've been tying them, but they have gotten carried away, and we did not put any fencing up around them in order to hold them up any better um and there's two types of tomatoes there's the 
determinate where they stop growing at a certain point and there's indeterminate where they just keep growing. Um, I do not know what kind these are. I think these, the, well obviously they're not the same because of just the way they're growing. But there's no tomatoes on here yet, but still very healthy. And my husband also uh, built that planter box. Show you better. And then he built that one as well with the chocolate beauty uh, bell peppers. Daddy. Yeah, go to daddy. And so out here we have a trellis built um, by my husband. Just simple. So here are a lot of tomatoes. Baby, what kind of tomatoes are these? Chris? He's not outside. I think, okay, these are big boy. So, okay, so I know these are big boys. And then the, we also have Cherokee purples, what they're called. And they actually have a purple tint. We've eaten some. So there's some tomatoes getting in there. So we have this trellis frame, and then we have posts laying on top. So he's been getting string. It's made for vegetables to tie up the stems as they're growing so they can stand up straight and um, he's got to pick this side up a little bit more but it is filled and it, they are they are very healthy and I mean they're doing good um, yeah let me see these are red beefsteak over here and mm -hmm. They're doing good as well. Um, it rains off and on. We were watering them too much, so I think at the beginning we kind of gave them a bad start, but they're coming along. There were onions right here. We had to pull them all up because they got overgrown. And then back here are tomatoes as well. So we have some fencing, and like I said, you know, it's a little by little, but it's something I enjoy uh, watering. These back here are cucumbers. Some of them have died out. <laughs> and uh, we picked some and eaten some. This one right here is, that's a watermelon. It's grown from this. This was just a, um, a pallet, a big pallet. And we've used it to grow that. This over here is a zucchini plant. It's getting a little sad, but it did make a zucchini. And this right here, and so we're still balancing out the fertilizing and stuff like that. This right here is squash. And it's been doing pretty good. So, like I said, our first time having a garden. So, it is getting there. We have to do some maintenance on it. And we are not perfect. But it is something we so enjoy. And it's pretty. And yes, my house has two color um, tin roof, <laughs> but it's cute. And yeah, so just a little bit of my yard. If y'all want to see the mountains, it's raining, as y'all could see earlier. But there's the beautiful mountains. We have a pasture. We have a pretty big yard. And on the other side is where we park and stuff. So yeah, thank y'all for watching. Hey everybody, so today I've been cleaning all day. I am clean, but I just haven't gotten ready and then I've sweated, so I guess I'm not clean. <laughs> but um, today for my um, scripture is going to be um, Psalms 91:11, and it says that he shall... Um, have his angels to guard us concerning us in all of our ways since i'm talking about stepping out and doing things and stuff like that um this is to keep us and to, to sustain us um is uh just having his angels and you never know 
in what shape or form the angels might be, but they are here and they are doing work for us. So that is very important to remember and keep with you. That's Psalms 91, cha uh, chapter 91, verse 11. And um, yeah, so I say Psalms 91 over my life every day. And um, yeah, it's uh, that's just part of him keeping us and, one, and his promise to us. And so, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed my garden video, and y'all are having a good week. All right, bye.